Hi, I'm Nate, and this is Photo Ringism. Let's look into APOC Cam, which is a tool, a free tool, that you can load onto your iPhone or Android, and you can tether it to your computer and use it for recording videos and your general content creation. Let's get to it. Okay, so once again, I'm Nate. This is Photo Learningism. Thank you so much for joining in. If this is your first time here, I do a lot of work to build a community of learning to surface the cheap or free art technologies so you can know about them and make good use of them. Today, I wanted to kind of take a different spin on that. I know we usually focus on photo alteration tools. We look at video editors and screen capture tools and all kinds of things. I wanted to look at the kind of the content creator aspect of this. We've touched on it in the past. I wanted to circle back to it and look at helping um, fellow content creators get started with that as well. Uh, particularly with starting with a camera. A lot of modern laptops do come with a webcam, but if it's not a choice for you, or even if you don't really have that, if you're working with older equipment and you're trying to get started and the, the webcam is simply not there, and um, you know, 60 bucks is a lot to drop on a, on a brand new webcam to get spun up. Uh, what you can do is if you have a smartphone, uh, iPhone or Android, you can tether it to your computer and you can use it with things like OBS, which is what I'm using right now, or with YouTube directly or other things over USB. And um, you can record yourself using that smartphone as a device, which is pretty cool. So I wanted to touch on it. It's a product called APOC Cam, and the there is a free version out there for trying out. It's not trial, it is free. Um, it has some limitations and we'll go through that, but it's also just really cool. It's a good, interesting place to start. Um, if you load it on your phone, um, and you can either do that by going to uh, kanani.com, uh, which I'll put a link in the description below, or um, you can go into the app stores and uh, look for APOC Cam and download that. Um, as soon as you start to load it, it gives you a pop-up screen with instructions and tells you what to do from there in case you haven't already done it. So it's really easy, really intuitive to get started. Um, again, there are options. You can do it over Wi-Fi if you want to tether your, your phone uh, over Wi-Fi or USB, which I found really easy and convenient. You don't deal with lag. You don't deal with other interference that's going across the network. It was just, it was so easy to do that. So I'd recommend USB if you have that option. Um, seems very versatile again with different operating systems. Um, I don't really know that it does Linux. So yeah, it looks like it's just a Macs, Mac or, uh, or Windows thing. I don't see Linux here. Sorry about that. Um, so this is just for that audience. Um, but this is an, an intriguing option for those uh, different areas. So let's actually look at this, right? So what I've done right now is I have a separate instance of uh, the tool running here. And I'm actually going to flip this to that source. And there it is. Um, you can see uh, in the lower left hand corner, that's that's my usual camera. That's an HD cam uh, webcam, actually. And in the main workspace there, that is my phone uh, streaming right now in real time as we're recording. Um, and I thought that was really cool to have that option is either a secondary camera or as a primary option. I've been thinking about using this as kind of the, the hands cam, which could be an interesting dimension. I know that sounds a little funny, but stay with me on that one. Just we'll see how it turns out. I don't know. Um, to set it up, again, you, you download the, uh, the drivers from the website. You download the app on the phone. And again, it was really seamless, really easy. Adding it in, at least to the case of OBS, you would add a scene or use an existing scene and just add a device. You would add in a video capture device, and it was really simple to pick up. Uh, it actually detects it immediately as APOC camera. I uh, didn't have to do any special setup other than do the drivers, and here it is. It runs pretty smooth. I did find, at least in the case of having two cameras, that I had to add for this recording software, at least for OBS, I had to institute a forward um, a delay with the audio because while the video kept going pretty smoothly, I'm not noticing any blips or, or issues there, audio seemed to struggle a little bit. And that could just be, to be fair, my laptop is, is getting old. It's, it's about six-ish years old and it might just be struggling to keep up there. So you may not have that problem if your equipment is newer and you're looking to play with this a little bit. Mine is getting old and I think it's just struggling a little bit to run uh, both these these active streams at the same time and keep pace with them. So just be aware that that, that could be a thing. <laughs> so uh, again, really simple, really easy. Some other things that I will note are that uh, the app on the phone 
which can be difficult to show. I'm wondering if I can rotate this around. <laughs> um, what's happening here is um, you can see the image and in the lower left hand corner is me. What I'll do is I'll flip on to, oh, I think I just skipped out on it. There it is. I'm going to see if I can flip us back to the source that I am looking for. Mouse is hard to see while I'm doing this. There it is. All right. So it does flip up, flip up ads, which is part of the, the free experience, but you can cancel those away fairly simply. There's the X and that goes away and the camera does stay engaged. You, you can see it up on the screen as long as your cable's not loose like mine. Um, it does stay engaged even while the ad comes up on the screen. So be aware of that, um, that there are, they do that as part of the free version and they're entitled to it's free. They're not making you pay anything for it. So yeah, okay. It's a little annoying, but it's free. Um, also to be aware uh, are that the quality is in standard. You can't get HD without buying the full fledged version, which again is reasonable. That's free. I think it's a reasonable expectation, but as a free product, it's pretty cool that all this comes working right out of the gate, which is really neat. Uh, it does kind of ratio it down a little bit. It's not like a widescreen format. So that's also a little annoying. You may get some more options with the full version, um, but again, free, it's hard to complain with that. Uh, one last thing in that, when you initially add the feed to your shot, what you might see is uh, some text along the bottom of the screen that says something to the effect of APOC cam version something edition. They do that as some initial marketing, but what I found, I don't know if this is on purpose or not, is, is that if I remove the source, like I showed you a minute ago, and simply added it back again, that little uh, watermark went away. Again, I'm not trying to be malicious. I'm not trying to give you a way out of that. That's just what happened. So take it for what it is <laughs> if you want to use it. Um, again, I wanted to promote this tool because again, it's free. I think there's some good option for value and I'm really kind of curious to explore it as a second shot uh, to make what I do possibly more interesting. So I hope that's helpful. APOC Cam, uh, a product by Kanani. Um, again, links will be in the description. If this was helpful for you, please do give me a thumbs up. Um, consider subscribing if you're interested in this kind of content and other kinds of art technology content because I do a lot of work. I try to get a video out once a week uh, to keep pace with what's going on and to let you know about what's happening out there. And um, it also helps me to know uh, what's of value to you and um, uh, stay in touch. Don't hesitate to leave a comment. I really love it when people leave comments and we discuss things and we ask questions and we help each other. It's not so much for me to respond to you, but it's about building this community of learning so that we can be aware and help each other. I really I'm looking to connect us as much as possible and become a strong community of, of boosting the value in tools, boosting the value in people connections. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time.